，马照跑，舞照跳，鼓照吵。这是上世纪八十年代邓小平对香港“一国两制”方针所做的通俗诠释，阐明了香港回归后港人的生活方式保持不变。二零二四年恰逢粤港澳大湾区发展规划纲要发布五周年，香港赛马会行政总裁应家柏近日在接受中新社记者专访时表示。他将带领赛马会继续全方位地丰富着香港的赛马精神。回顾香港赛马会在过去二十多年里的发展，应家柏认为，“一国两制”方针所带来的机遇，让香港赛马会从一个区域性机构发展成为全球赛马领域的领导者。The club is a probably unique example of how one country, two system, can in a way enable an organization like us to grow and make even more contributions. When 1998. There was the quality of horse racing in Hong Kong. Was there was no horse and no race in any international classification. Now we have some of the best horses in the world are racing in Hong Kong. Some of the best races in the world are in Hong Kong. We have only around 0.9 percent of the world's horse population, but 8-9 percent of the best horses in the world are trained in Hong Kong. So we have become from a regional, local organization. We have become a global leader in everything to do with horse racing, and this is the opportunity we have taken to grow in a way Hong Kong racing. Ying Jiabai 认为，香港与粤港澳大湾区内地城市的经济融合，对香港赛马会而言是一个独特的机遇。他表示，香港赛马会希望让更多的内地马主参与到赛马运动中来。We are very much guided, in a way, by the National Equine Industry Development, which was published by the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Sport in 2020, and how we can look at a, creating a value chain of horse racing as a sport, horse racing as an industry. And if one looks even further, it's not only the racing side. For example, how much capability and capacity we can build in the equine sport? We have. Trained around seven, eight hundred people in a rural area who had before no connection to horses. They have been become, with our very dedicated vocational training, very accomplished horsemen. Ying Jiabai 指出，赛马既是运动，也是一种文娱活动。多年来，香港赛马会一直着力推广诸如快活星期三等标志性赛事及文娱一体化活动。吸引香港本地民众与访港旅客的参与。We position horse racing not only as wagering. First of all, it was a world-class sport, and with the best jockeys, best trainers, best horses, and best sporting events. Secondly, we have positioned horse racing as much more as entertainment. We have done deep customer research, where we have practically 15 different customer segments, where we identify. What is their entertainment needs? What is their social needs? And Hong Kong racing, if people go to racing, they go for social gathering. They come together, enjoy the sport. And alone, in a way, in the restaurant we are now, there is no other race course in the world who has so many different restaurants, entertainment options where you can go. So therefore, the strategy is always to create new experiences which meet. The needs of a customer, 